Hi, welcome, and thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. Lotte, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, you're going to be one of the keynote speakers at the DCS this year. So I was wondering if you could give everyone listening a brief overview of your career. I was born in Germany and I live in the world and increasingly in the cyberspace. And this due to the arrival of COVID-19. My passion is the supply chain, the world of transport, trade and technology. I have spent my entire professional career in this world of the making and the moving of goods. I worked for Kuno Nagel and the German Red Cross. I worked for TNT, where I was leading their Swiss country organization and the Eastern European and Eastern Mediterranean region. I also worked as a head of international development at French La Poste. Over a decade, I was driving the expansion and investment strategies of the group. I was running as president and CEO, Geopost Intercontinental group of companies across the world and the global express parcel network. In the last 10 years, I have done a lot of different things and many of them in parallel. I have been working with corporates, international organizations, startups and scale-ups to drive innovation, digital transformation and growth. I have been director and head of uh, supply chain and transport industries at the World Economic Forum. I have been partner and managing director China and India at global strategy firm CVA. And now my focus is primarily to bring together the world of innovation brought up by startups and scale ups and the traditional industries and incumbents. So I work with uh, <clears throat> traditional companies like Lotion, uh, leader in last mile delivery in uh, South Korea. I work with uh, already grown up startups like Rombi, which is a California based asset tracking and shipment monitoring firm. And I work with very innovative players like Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, uh, a company that is building the supersonic ground mode which allows us to move people and goods at the speed of, of air transport. And um, BetSwap, for example, a battery swapping company that helps fleet owners to electrify their deliveries. I have written many books um, myself, or I have co-authored some of them, over 30 papers, over 100 articles. I spoke at more than 100 uh, conferences in more than 30 countries. And uh, it's all about driving the industry towards a healthier and more effective global supply chain network. Um, it sounds as if you're having um, your hands quite a lot of different places uh, in the industry. So seeing that you have this overview of so many things, what would you say is the technology that we should also be looking out for in the future? I believe that it is much less about technologies. It is much more about solutions. Solutions like asset tracking and shipment monitoring solutions. Uh, solutions like contactless deliveries. And I'm involved in a startup called Parcel Home that is providing boxes uh, which can be integrated in a digital workflow. Uh, that's a solution to solve a very specific challenge. Um, I'm also involved in Key Cargo that is a platform uh, for uh, bringing together smaller trucking companies and smaller shippers. So, and, and these describe 
a few areas we should look to and into the world of platforms, the world of visibility, the world of technology that solves pain points which we haven't been able to eliminate over decades, like uh, the last mile challenge. So you say pain points in plural. What, which um, pain points would you point out as the most important ones to, to fix? I think the most foundational is uh, visibility or the lack of visibility is the pain point. The solution is creating visibility. And that also shows that the solutions come in big stacks because to create that visibility, one needs to be able to leverage, for example, APIs to tap into the current systems. One has to be able to bridge the gaps, the data gaps, uh, for example, uh, through sensors, which are placed on shipment level or on part level or on vehicle level, for, for example. So that's uh, uh, where, I, where I see the, the major need to work on, also because of COVID-19, because we have left behind the outbreak phase. We have arrived in the new normal. The new normal has three names for me, virus, volatility, and uncertainty. We have to navigate this, and we cannot do this blindly. We need information to support our decision-making processes. We need information and tools to protect our workers that they can operate remotely. And I'm not even thinking about working from home. I'm thinking, for example, about remote inventory management. So when you say visibility, I'm thinking that's a very broad term. Do you mean visibility when making deals with other firms or with regards to payment and pricing or what do you mean? Visibility in terms of what is going on in the supply chain network. Where's my container? Where's my order? Where's the truck? Uh, can the plane go or should the plane wait until the truck arrives because any, every minute uh, creates a cost? That is the visibility I'm talking about. And now that we're talking about visibility, you're going to be one of the keynote speakers at the DCS. And your keynote is going to be beyond supply chain visibility. What exactly are you going to be talking about? That would leave that for the talk. But uh, it is, of course, about um, how can we navigate uh, the new normal, which I have uh, described before. And the the topic is vast. That's also why uh, I think it's, it's important to, to narrow it down, but it's hard in the world of supply chain because the world of supply chain is about activities from design to procurement to manufacturing, distribution, maintenance, repair, repurposing. But we need that visibility across all, all these uh, pieces. I will uh, pick certain real-time examples or real life examples um, which outline where we currently stand and, and where we are going. That is what I, I wish to talk about and I hit already uh, on some of the, the areas which could be inventory management, which could be lane assessment, etc. And why are you excited to talk about exactly that at the DCS? Because it's so foundational because it's so much needed. If there was a moment of supply chain, that moment is now. Uh, nobody talked really about supply chains uh, before COVID-19, or it stayed very much in the industry. But now everybody is aware uh, about the importance uh, of the supply chain. And I'm not thinking here about what we read a lot about the weaknesses and about the failures. Um, I think about uh, the supply chain that was able to stand and able to deliver during these difficult and adverse times. And uh, the companies that had more visibility, that had better tools, P 
feel much better this situation because they they knew where their suppliers are they knew where their goods were they knew when goods were turned away at the border and stored somewhere because they had that real-time information which told them that something was going wrong and then they could work on the solutions and they could also take inventories from other places and move it to that destination because they knew that that specific product was available at a different place so that is um, why i'm very excited about the topic why it's so important and i think it's it's also very important that people uh, stay updated about those developments so what would you say that people actually can learn from your keynote they can uh, get a picture of where visibility stands but also and this is why i gave it the title beyond supply chain visibility that visibility as such doesn't help us a lot because supply chains are, are massive constructs uh, there can be in a supply chain 10,000 20,000 suppliers millions of customers uh, many manufacturing sites having data about all these steps the events is not manageable for for us so in fact when i speak about the foundational role of visibility it is in fact the opposite what we aim at we want to take off our screen everything which is irrelevant so we want machines that do that work for us that filter out what is the information necessary to drive successfully my business and it is about driving business because supply chain sits at the core the center of every business now that we're talking about what you're going to be talking about then let's look back at your long career um, what would you say has been your most memorable moment in your career i think for leaders the most important compass but also the most rewarding event is that they get positive feedback and recognition for their service and contribution to the team to the organization to a community and uh, early on in my career i was uh, privileged to lead a team in germany which was dealing with special services with everything that that is unusual in the normal world of transport and logistics uh, this could be an onboard career to deliver a document uh, before the deadline uh, it can be chartering an antonov 225 the largest commercial aircraft in the world to make sure that in a case of disruption a factory can continue to produce and um, this team i was uh, privileged to lead uh, about two years and when i took over it was a loss making business it was uh, a team that uh, had many frustrated individuals and uh, we we rolled up our sleeves and we draw up a, a strategy and plan and of course some people uh, f left because it was too late and they had lost hope but for those that signed on we embarked on an amazing journey and we quadrupled the uh, the revenue uh, within two years we moved the business out of the loss zone into millions of profit and uh, when i moved on after two years in my career they organized a farewell event and the recognition and feedback everybody showed towards me during that 
event was just amazing. It was probably one of the most moving uh, and rewarding moment in my professional career. I can imagine. It's, it's not often that you hear those kind of stories that people appreciate their leaders so much. Yeah, and I'm still in contact with uh, uh, many of the people in that team. If you were going to give yourself um, an advice from, for when you started your career, what would that be? Develop your own ecosystem. We are, when we start our career, we are, or most of us are probably very convinced about our ability, our drive, our youth, our, our um, ambition. And uh, we, we tend to focus on, on tasks. We tend to focus, if, we, if it's a leadership role, on, on our team. And that's important. We need to create that team spirit I, I just spoke about. On the other hand, we are also dependent on the outside world. We cannot just focus on, on ourselves. We have to integrate uh, with our peers. We have to integrate with our peers in the organization and beyond. We have to integrate into our own leadership structure that is guiding us. And this holistic uh, view, um, I think I did not have that at the beginning. I was very occupied with doing the best I could with the best people I had. And I always worked based on the assumption that I'm teaming up with the best in the world. So, but uh, you can amplify this effort and the success uh, much more when you leverage everything which is outside your team within the organization and beyond. And success you for sure have had, and you're also going to be talking about getting to success in the supply chain at the DCS this year. Thank you very much for having the time to talk to us today. Lotte, it has been a great pleasure. In between your sessions, you can enjoy some awesome keynotes and workshops um, to which you can actually bookmark on your schedule in advance. And the event is open for 24 hours to accommodate everyone all over the world.